Hey everyone, how are you doing today? Um, early feed, uh, live feed today. Um, I'm making taco soup. So I wanted to show you how I do it. Um, now this is a recipe I actually got from Jen. And I've tweaked it. And she actually got it I think from Pinterest. <clears throat> so I've tweaked it to my own. Hello. So um, I just want to share what I what I've done. Remember, it's about your taste. Change it how you like. I use with what I have, so don't hesitate to uh, make it your own. Okay, so I'm gonna turn the camera around. So okay, so I'm using Catalina beans. I got two cans. I'm using um, less brown beans. And um, I've rinsed those, and um, I rinsed the juice off the the Western beans because I don't want all the all the ranch style flavor. And I'm using cream of chicken, and then I'm using a large can of green enchiladas uh, sauce. And then I'm gonna use a taco seasoning, and then I'm gonna use onion powder and garlic salt. And then I'm using about. I'm using dark meat today, so I'm going to use about two cups of dark meat. All right, I'm going to turn this back around, so bear with me just a moment. There we go. I lost it. Okay, I hope I'm being serious with them. Okay. So I'm not so much in the video. Okay, so I've already put the um, the Catalina and the ranch all beans in, and I'm just going to put them in the crock pot. Now I mentioned I didn't mention that uh, we're going to use a crock pot today, and um, this is about setting it um, as much as you want for the settings today, because it's going to be just a one pot meal, and I'm just going to leave it and let it go for the day, and then um, when David gets in. I don't have to fuss over dinner. Okay, so that being said, I've already added the, the beans. And then I'm going to add my enchilada sauce, my green enchilada sauce. Now, I you prefer the mild, but the large can that I got today is medium, so which is not too hot. And then I'm going to add a can of cream of chicken. And then I'm going to add my um, two cups of, and I'm using dark meat. It's usually called for white meat, but it's, it's what I have today. And then I'm going to add my taco seasoning. And I just use a regular, regular original seasoning. And then I'm going to give it probably about a half a cup of water because I don't want it too soupy, but enough to have a broth. about a half a cup. I kind of like to serve mine over rice and um, corn chips, little cheese. You can serve it however you want, just the way it is, like a chili, just eat it with crackers. And, it, and you can add as much heat to this as you want. It doesn't have to be um, always mild. Some people like it spicy. I prefer the medium. It usually comes out a good, good uh, halfway point for me, David. And then he can use his hot sauce if he wants it. Okay, so I'm just going to use granule garlic, and I'm just seasoning it to taste. I'm not really like going to put a bunch in, and then probably about a couple tablespoons. And then the I have uh, for some reason we have onion powder. Um, I think I accidentally picked it up and just trying to use it. So I just put a good couple of douses in, you know, like your grandmother would say, pinch here, pinch there. <laughs> okay. 
So you basically just stir it up. I might add just a tad more water, but as it cooks, it's going to thin out. And I will show you what it looks like. And that's pretty much how it is. It's easy. I'll probably put a little bit more water in it. And then today I'm going to set it on the maximum. And I'm probably going to put it about 10 hours since the chicken's already cooked. If the chicken wasn't cooked, I'd probably put it on about 8 hours. <clears throat> uh, just so I don't dry out the chicken completely. Um, and I usually, and I alter between white meat and dark meat. And to me it doesn't matter. Oh, and uh, I meant to tell you, I do add a little chicken broth to it. <clears throat> I usually can add either one can of liquid broth, chicken broth, or um, I use the uh, bouillon, dry bouillon, a couple teaspoons in it just to help with the seasoning. Um, just remember it's sodium, so lots of salt. <clears throat> and uh, it's ready to go. All right, talk to you later. And I hope you guys are enjoying my um, my little meals on live and whatever. And uh, if you get a chance, visit me on uh, YouTube. And remember, subscribe and like. Thanks. Bye.